Plex is an interesting streaming media service. Like Netflix or Prime Video, there are a few shows and movies you can watch after creating an account, and it's free. But the best feature is that you can host a Plex server on your Raspberry Pi, add your own files to it, and watch them from any device, even remotely. That's what I'll show you in this video. First, let me a few seconds to explain the basics. When you go on the Plex website, plex.tv, you'll see different things. You can either download an app, a server, or open Plex directly. With an app or via your web browser, you can watch Plex movies like on any other streaming service. But, I run a YouTube channel about the Raspberry Pi, so I won't talk a lot about that. The server part, is a piece of software you can install on a computer, like a Raspberry Pi, to host and share your own files. For example, if you have a folder full of videos on your Raspberry Pi, you can add it to your Plex media server, and access it from any device, anywhere in the world. The videos will be streamed from your Raspberry Pi to your other device, computer, tablet, smartphone, console, etc. A Plex account is required to make your files available in the Plex interface, but it's free. You can see Plex as a mix between Netflix and Kodi. I hope you are now excited to try this project. The Raspberry Pi is supported, so installing the server is not that complicated. Plex is not available in the default repository on Raspberry Pi OS, but you can download a package and install it in one click, or one command. It can even be easier with distributions like Ubuntu, where Plex is available in the App Store directly. Anyway, here is how to install it on Raspberry Pi OS with desktop, or any other Debian-based distribution. First, go to plex.tv. Find the download section, and choose Linux on the left side. Click on Choose Distribution and pick the architecture corresponding to your Raspberry Pi model. V8 for a device that can run 64-bit apps, V7 in the other cases. Then, just click on the downloaded file to run the installer, and confirm the installation. You'll need to enter your password, but that's the only thing to do. Wait a few seconds, and the Plex server will be installed directly. If you don't have a desktop environment, or want to install it remotely via SSH, here is how to do the same thing. From another computer, go to the download section on the Plex website. Copy the direct link to the Debian package. Then, open a terminal, or an SSH connection, and use this command to download the file. Once downloaded, you can use dpkg to install it. The Plex Media Server runs as a service, meaning it will automatically start on boot. So you don't have much to do after that. If you have a desktop environment, you'll find a shortcut to the web interface in the main menu. If not, you can use the same URL from another computer on the same network. The first thing you need is a Plex account. It's mandatory to watch Plex files, and especially to stream local files to the Plex interface. You can create it directly from there, or go to Plex.tv and sign in there. I got an infinite loading page here, just refresh the page to move forward, if you get the same issue. If everything is working correctly, you should get a short introduction to the Plex system, and a welcome wizard to configure your server. It will also offer you to upgrade your account with a premium pass. With a premium pass, you can get some additional features, but you don't need them to stream your local files, so just close this pop-up. You can choose a name and add some media libraries. I'll get back to this later, so you can just skip it for now. Once done, you'll get access to the Plex interface, confirming that everything is ready to use. It's the same interface all the time, local host, remote access, web access and even on smartphone. So you shouldn't be lost, whatever device you use to watch movies. Now, let's see how to import your own files there, which can be a challenge in itself. That's the step where I lose the most time. Well, it's probably my fault, as I didn't check the documentation. But it took me a while to understand that there was a permission issue. The Plex service is running with a different user on your system, Plex. So, this username needs to have access to your files to display them in the Plex interface. 
This is not the case if your files are under your home directory. And even if they are on a USB drive, the auto mount feature on Raspberry Pi OS will mount the drive with access to the default user only. I will give you the quick and dirty solution to do this here, and you can check the link tutorials for more details. So, an easy solution is to create a new folder outside your home folder. Let's say under, OPT, for example. Give all privileges to everyone on this folder, using the chmod command. Obviously, you can fine-tune that, depending on your setup. Then, copy or move your media files to this folder. You can now add this folder to your Plex library. Both Plex and you should have access to these files now. If you want to mount a USB drive or do something more complicated, check the links in the description. Once that both users have access to the files, adding this folder on the Plex interface is straightforward. Click on the plus icon near your server name. Select the library type, and give a name to this library. Then browse or type the files location, slash opt slash plex files, in my example. Click on add library to complete this step. Your files will now be accessible from any device, from anywhere. Plex is a nice tool, I will try to use it more often and let you know if I find other interesting features. I know for example that you can link other streaming account. So, that could be a great solution to have everything in the same interface. But if you are only interested in streaming local files, I recommend watching this other video on my channel. No account required, and you keep the control on everything. Watch it now. <laughs>